Look, the universe is moving. The Milky Way and all of the galaxies in the universe are in motion. The nine planets are revolving around the sun. The Earth itself is rotating. Think about it. Who's provided the force? Who's pushed it? No one. It just exists with this rotating mechanism. Our Falun also exists with such a rotating mechanism. It is given in this way, so it can rotate automatically. What we practice is immense. It is based on the supreme cosmic quality, Jin Shan Ren, to be true, good, and endure, and on the evolutionary law of the universe. Falun is a miniature, the miniature of the universe. In addition, the most outstanding feature of our practice is that we do not cultivate or form an elixir. We cultivate a Falun at the lower abdomen area. However, it would take a long time for you to form this Falun on your own. According to the masters, it has taken countless generations to form it. In the lecture, I'll plant a Falun on the students. I will personally place it at the lower abdomen area. Once this Falun is planted, it will be constantly rotating. It can collect energy from the universe on its own. When rotating inward, clockwise, it collects energy from the universe and then transforms it to provide the necessary energy to the different areas of one's body. In the meantime, it reverses. When rotating counterclockwise, it ejects waste substances transformed from one's body, which are dispersed once coming out. This field can reach very far, so all those around him will benefit. The saying in Buddha school, rotating inwards saves oneself, rotating outwards saves others. Salvation for oneself and others. Salvation for all beings. Falun Gong, as I said, solves the problem of having to practice for a long time and of extending the practice time. It shortens the process of practicing. You may have heard of such a saying in Buddhism, Falun rotates constantly. This means, once I have planted Falun on the students, it will rotate forever in their lower abdomen area. That is, the students will be transformed by the law forever. Not only just Falun, I'll also plant many energy mechanisms and large energy channels outside of your body and internally automatically moving mechanisms. These form a whole set. They are all rooted in this Falun. If Falun does not stop, none of them will stop. So it becomes the law cultivating a practitioner. Say you are not practicing, you are still being cultivated by the law. Say you have to go to work and to sleep, you are still in practice, still being practiced by the cultivation energy. Falun does not stop. The energy mechanisms do not stop. They are always transforming you. None of the other practices have this. Ours is the most special one. It solves the problem of the lack of time to extend practice among ordinary people, especially for those who work. It takes the way of the law cultivates practitioners. Since Falun is rotating 24 hours unceasingly, it brings about a state in which a practitioner's energy increases very rapidly. With an ordinary practice, a person cultivates slowly within his lifetime. The requirements are not that high, so its pace is slow. Ours directly ascends from the very beginning and speeds up practice, so shin shin or character requirements are higher. Two reasons why when one's practiced a long time but cultivation energy has not increased. First, they do not put emphasis on cultivating their character. There exists a principle in this universe. This principle is the absolute and uppermost one in this universe. It is to be true, good, and endure. It's too immense to expound on it. But three words summarize it, to be true, good, and endure. As you know, to be a practitioner, you have to be above ordinary people to be a good person. Then, if you want to be a good person, you have to assimilate to this cosmic quality. If you don't assimilate into this quality, you will not ascend. Guaranteed, you will not ascend. The Great Law has been lectured to everyone by the teacher. The five sets of exercises have also been taught completely. Now it is up to the practitioners themselves as to how they cultivate and practice. Those who just practice the movements, but do not cultivate their character, are not yet Falun Dafa disciples. Only those who practice the exercises and at the same time cultivate their character according to the Great Law, and are strict with themselves, are considered to be Falun Dafa disciples. When practitioners are able to comprehend the Great Law, awaken to its meaning, maintain their character, 
practice genuine cultivation, and are able to bear the hardship of hardships, and endure what is difficult to endure, they will certainly be able to achieve the right fruit status. Falun rotates constantly. The Buddha law is balanced.